Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create user in Oracle Fusion application. That can be Oracle HCM or Oracle ERP, whatever will be the cloud application. So let's begin. Before going to start, I request you if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe this channel for latest update and don't forget to like this video. Let's begin to the creation part. Then for creating the user in Oracle Fusion application, we require security console tasks. And for security console tasks, we need to move to the tools. And here you can see we have security console tasks. And the user having the security console tasks only can create the users. So as my user having the roles, both security and console, we can create the users. So just click here to create the users. Once we will click here, it will move to the roles tab. And you can see we have user tab. For creating the user, we need to click here. And yes, even we can create new user, we can search existing user. For creating the user, we need to click on that add user account. And once we will click on that, you can see we have to provide the username or the details. So let me provide the username. So I want to create username like that ERP and last name as user1. And here we have to provide the email. So let me provide the email as eronzafor at cmail.com. And here, friend, you can see whenever we are adding the first name and last name, by default, it's giving the username. Even you can change this username or you can let it be the same. So I don't want to change user. So I will use the same. Here we have to provide the password. So I will give the password as. So I'm giving the password. Now we have to, you can see. This user we created doesn't have any roles right now. So as you know that in Oracle Fusion application, each and everything depends on the role. So we can provide the roles here at the time of creation only, or even we can provide the roles later. So let me add one abstract role here. So just click on add role. And for adding the role, we need to search here. So I'm going to provide employee roles. So I will search EMPLO, Y employee. You can see here we have employee role. So the role is starting with Aura, it means that is Oracle extended role. So here I'm going to add these roles to the user and done. So you can see this user have added this role, employee role, and we can click on this save to create the users. So here, let me copy the username. So friend, as we provided the email, so whenever this user will be created, this email will have received one email from Oracle with the user details. And it will ask to change the password as this password is created by the, the created by the IT team. So just click on save and close so that that user will be created. I will show you the email also. So once user created, we can easily search the user here in the user tab only. So as we created the user, we can search user here. Once we will enter giving the name, you can see we will be able to search the user. Once you will click here, you can see we have the user details with the same roles and the email. So now let me show you the email. Friend, you can see once user created, we got an email. That email having the dear ERP user one and the details, congratulations, your Oracle Fusion application account has been successfully created. Please follow the link below. This is the link. And once we will click here, we will be able to change the password for this user, the for ERP user one. For changing the password, you can see we have to provide the password. So let me add the password here so that it can be reset. Once we will submit, the password will be reset. And yes, for login, we need to give the username and the password here. So here it's open by default because previously I added different users. So here, let me first log out the user. So as we already created the user, so here we will provide the username. So our username was erp.user1 as we created with the same name erp.user1 and here we have to provide the password. So I will give the password, whatever password I changed. So once we will click sign in, you can see we will be able to log into the user erp user one And here you can see we are able to log in with the help of erp user one And you can see as we provided the employee role to the user, they have been basic, basic tabs, basic options to do the operations, perform the task. So here you can see we have all the details. So this is the friend, this is the basic way how we can create users in Oracle Fusion application. In next video, I will show you how we can assign roles to the user.
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, don't forget to make a comment over that. Thank you so much again.